this is what's called on the bottom is called the rocker, the bottom of the surfboard. The side of the surfboard is called are called the rails. The top of the surfboard is called the deck. The tail of the surfboard can have many different designs. This one right now I have a pointed design on the back, a pintail. If it's cut off, that's a squash tail, so it's kind of uh, flattened on the back. Regarding regarding the rocker, it's kind of important to keep the, the center of the rocker pretty flat. Remember, this is going to be traveling through water, so if you have it bowl-shaped, that makes it much harder to push through water. So really from about the third, quarter to third of the nose, and a quarter of the third of the tail, that's when you start giving it uh, that surfboard curve to it. If you have a huge curve on the nose, and you can see some people do have surfboards that have much more dynamic, much more uh, aggressive noses. The problem with that is that uh, the best waves you can possibly get, besides the other conditions, are when the is when the wind is actually uh, hitting the wave head on, and that keeps the wave up. Uh, and the wind will also hurt you from catching the wave, especially on a short board. This is about probably about 6.5 right here, and this is about the upper limit of what a short board is. A short board has many characteristics. First of all, it's kind of short, shorter than the long board, which is you know anywhere between 9 and 12 feet or even longer. Short boards usually about uh, 6 feet, 6.5 or less. Um, the long boards have uh, rounded and straighter uh, rockers on them. That is to say, the, the, the nose is rounder and the, and the back will be bigger, it'll be thicker, and the rocker will be much straighter. You're not going to have a, a dynamic nose like this. And the reason is because on a long board you can catch uh, waves much easier, but you, have to, you can catch them much earlier, much easier, but they can't be huge waves. Um, or they can be, but it's much more hard to uh, to ride the, the longboard. Longboard is really, you need a point break, you need a nice smooth break um, on the wave. Smaller waves are fine. Uh, a short board, you can catch uh, very large waves, and the way you do that is right when about the wave's about to break, you have to be exactly the right point, because it's much harder to get momentum on a short board, because one, it's shorter, it's less buoyant. Two, it has usually a much uh, thicker, much, much more dynamic uh, nose, rocker, and it takes a lot more strength to do, so that's about it. <laughs>